and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Rakdos Aristocrats. We're going to be playing this deck in best of one. I have like the full deck list here if you like playing best of three. You know, it has a sideboard for you. This has just a, been a, a popular list online that, that has 5 0 uh, by a couple of different people. Um, and so I'm just going to try like that, the normal 5 0 list and uh, try it over in a best of one today because, of course, today is best of one day Monday. If you don't really know why it's called Aristocrats, it's it's an ode to uh, the Return to Ravnica block whenever there was a standard Innistrad block plus re the Return to Ravnica block. Those two combined for um, an Aristocrat deck, a Mardu Aristocrat deck. Uh, I think there was also an Abzan one too, but it, it was you know it had cards like a Cartel Aristocrat was um, the main one there, but then also Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Both those cards were free sacrifice. Uh, were creatures that that uh, had uh, sacrifice abilities so they're free sacrifice outlets and basically uh long story short the aristocrat style deck is one where you are uh where you're playing like smaller creatures that you don't mind sacrificing and that's what that's what this deck's all about is about sacrificing your own creatures and stealing creatures from your opponent to sacrifice as well we have witches oven we have priests of forgotten gods and now after Theros, we have Woestrider. <laughs> Whoa, that I hadn't really looked at that picture of that goat before. One, the the legs look really weird on that goat, but then even the face, it looks like a like a sad, confused goat. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So you know, this is a a creature with a a free sacrifice outlet. You know, you get to sacrifice a creature with Woestrider for zero mana. So yeah, we have all those things to sacrifice. We have the Crow in War and Claim the Firstborn to steal. Uh, Rankle, also we can use to sacrifice stuff. I'm I'm not sure about these Remodi Revelers. I don't know if I'm going to really like this card or not. Um, I'm guessing not, but we'll kind of see. I think a Crow in War is, is pretty awesome, and, and Woe Strider I do think is a really powerful card. So let's see how this does. So like I said, we're going to be playing it in best of one. <laughs> that goat looks at least a 2-3. Standard ranked. We'll play seven games. <laughs> That's a 5-1 haste trample goat. <clears throat> Croxa instead of Rix. I could see playing Croxa instead of Rix, especially at least one Croxa. So, okay, the Revelers are pretty sweet with Cat Oven. Okay. You set it up as a draw three later on, and you can discard Cauldron Familiar also if it's earlier on. And it's just it's another body to sacrifice to Priest of Forgotten Gods, which you do need bodies for that. What's up, Horatio? Oh, yeah, we just played BSB, didn't we? Oh, you're welcome, Horatio. Play Runaway Steamkin. Don't stop looking at the priest. <clears throat> Don't worry about this priest. Don't worry about him. Ew. Hey, Adam. Thanks for the sub as well there, Adam. That gets our, that's our second uh, sub goal of the day. Should have played that Steamkin last turn. Hmm. So three, four. Yeah, Croxa can be sacrificed to the priest in response to the other the sacrifice trigger while it's on the stack. 
Absolutely. So there's Woe Strider. I could could use another land. So I can steal and sack. Steamkin's pretty good. <laughs> uh, of course, it has to be another shock land. Yep. I think they just got us. Wait. Wait a minute. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, double claim would have dealt 13 damage. I was, I mean, I was dead there. I, I couldn't stay alive with, by blocking, but could I have killed them from 14? I think I could have only dealt 13. Yeah, I was one short. If I stole Steamkin and then stole Scorch Spitter and pumped Steamkin... You know, so that's that's eight damage, and then nine, ten, and then my three from my from my midnight reaper. So that would have been thirteen, and they're at fourteen, and I I don't have I don't have anything else that would have dealt damage because all I have is another woe strider and and uh, midnight reaper and gutter bones and stuff. If I didn't block, and if they still did that, if I if I would not have blocked with the cauldron familiar, again they would have had ember cleave. I think it was a good block there because I was trying to prevent them from playing these bone crusher giants, but. You could survive with the go. I couldn't. I don't think I could survive by playing a good. No, I could not survive. So if I would have played Woe Strider. Shock to go to five, claim, and then sack. What are the blocks? Like, how? what block am I doing to stay alive? So I'm at five. They just... Equip Ember Cleave over an attack. I take two, so I, d I go down to three. What blocks could I make that I would stay alive? Because I have like the Midnight. Remember, I have the Midnight Reaper also. So whenever I block with my creatures, they die. I take damage. Oh, I, c I couldn't stay alive. Or no, well, let's see, the extra goat. Maybe I could have stayed at one. Assuming they had absolutely nothing. Did I just not block with priest? I guess I didn't want to block with priest. They don't want to play Chandra. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, best of one definitely has a, a lot of mono red kind of in general. I don't think that we're going to win this with two lands. I don't think this is really a, a very good uh, priest activation basically this whole time. <clears throat> All right. Now it is. Because now it's just trading gutter bones for their 10 street dodger and us drawing a card and them losing two life. <laughs> yeah, we're just playing two lands. That's it. Uh, there's 24 in here, actually. 24. So kind of, kind of high for an aggro deck. So, you know, we'd like to have. to have more than uh, just two lands. Maybe we can, maybe we can deal with this. Like if we draw a red source and we get to claim this Chandra Spitfire, they're dead. Like if I just draw a red source, they're dead. As long as it's not Temple, because obviously that one comes into play tapped. And not Fable Passage, because that comes into play tapped. I need to draw a Mountain or Blood Crypt. Oh no, because this is Lose Life, not Deal Damage. Never mind. Never mind. Familiar does not trigger Spitfire. Never mind. Which y'all are probably saying in chat. Yeah, I know those triggers. They they could really make it easier.
I guess we could triple double check. But I don't think that that'll trigger Spitfire. Nah, it doesn't. Gave my opponent quite the scare, though. You like the Grateful Apparition instead of Tamik? I mean, it's definitely better with um, having the, the snakes. What am I doing? Just, I'll just take it. All right, we're one on one. We need our mono red opponent to draw seven lands. Stopped our losing streak there. Uh, same kind of stuff. I don't seem like we have enough red mana in here. The Orzov list? Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Kendis. Yeah, you can find it in there. You can also uh, go to the YouTube channel and, and see the replay of the deck, and the, and the YouTube video has a link to the deck list as well. And there's the link to the deck to the YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Oh, I'm sorry, Blue Jin. Rude. So if their plan is just to play Bone Crusher Giant next turn, I think like would I trade Mayhem Devil for Bone Crusher Giant, and then draw a card? I think so. So like they play Bone Crusher, then I play Midnight Reaper and attack for three. Not sure if I was supposed to attack with gutter bones also. Probably not. I don't like these innkeepers. I don't like these innkeepers very much.
Wow. I'll take it. Awesome, Metavari. Cool. Uh, it does not. Um, <clears throat> what do you? What did you think of? So, Metavari, what did you think of like the last time that I played it? Like, how I th talked about maybe taking out. Um, talk about maybe taking out Nissa from the deck. Like were you were you playing like that that version with without Nissa? Ten to ten. can't do that I gotta hold up the priest because otherwise they could just go land questing beast equip and do 10 to me I guess they'd only really do nine because I could block with the, for one with the woe strider but still Okay, you've been playing the Stream Decker one? Okay. <laughs> now Triple Mountain? Uh... So, you know, I'd have like Remodi would discard Cauldron Familiar to look for another land. Let's get rid of it. Okay. Let's ship. Um, I guess this. All the mountains. So 
See, I'm claiming the Firstborn just doesn't use my mana very well. I'm going to play the Midnight Reaper first. So now I can. I only have just red mana, so I don't get to play Woe Strider, but I can pop that to do one damage there. And then sack this thing and do another damage there. So that was a good turn. Trade one claim the firstborn for two steamkins. And deal four damage to them. Keep saying a game, but Fervent Champion can make a lot of comebacks. Yeah. Trying to block. All right. Three and one. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really one to say oops. That's it's not me. Wow, look at that. We have good mana. That's a first. So I I'm gonna lead with the gutter bones. It's just mono red all day. This time we're on the draw. Claim next turn. I can block with the cauldron familiar and then still bring it back. Looks like we're going to be claiming the Fervent Champion. Definitely claiming Fervent Champion.
I'm not sure if it was worth the two life to play the priest. I guess we'll see. Ah, uh, Phoenix is awesome. That card's so good. And we could just draw Mayhem Devil, which is why it's not super necessary to bring back the Cauldron Familiar right then. Um, yeah, the Rat Sleeve is part of the Secret Lair Rat Bundle. Yeah, I, I ended up just getting, like, I just got from eBay the a code for the sleeve. That's all I did. I didn't get the whole bundle with all the other stuff. Um, so do I want to play Gutter Bones or Midnight Reaper? I think Gutter Bones. Yeah, I think the life's too low for Reaper. The Crow in War. Ugh, I wanted that card. Make him at least sacrifice one of these. There goes the Phoenix. Can't really. Can't really kill the Phoenix. They're at nine. Come 
not sure if I can do 9 damage. Gives me a better chance. Alright, I think we can do 9 damage now. I guess <clears throat> we are good without that thing. All right, four and one. That was a very good hand that we had. Yeah, you have to, to, uh, you have to go to gameplay and then uncheck the auto order triggered abilities. So then you can you can order your triggered abilities yourself. You know you can put them in different orders if need be. That's how you can change that up. Oh no, looks like we got a mirror match. I need to need to use Fable Passage before they play a Mayhem Devil. But you know, I want to draw my own Mayhem Devil to play it. I don't have a very good hand for the mirror. Their hand looks pretty good for the mirror. I think it's worth taking the one point of damage to get a food. Yep, that's the plan now, especially that they're tapped out. Uh, claim, you know, claim the devil, then play the Fable Passage, kill the Cauldron Familiar. So yeah, we'll have both players sacrifice and both players discard.
which that will do two damage. Just as is. They, of course, can sacrifice the Mayhem Devil to the Witch's Oven. And then let the trigger resolve and then bring back Cauldron Familiar. So they should be done. But it's worth it. That gets Mayhem Devil off the battlefield, of course. Alright, go Rankle, go. Rankle versus a couple cats. Rankle and a cat. Yeah, we got a cat fight. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to have like both players draw cards with Wrinkle. This Wrinkle was pretty awesome, though. I, I did not feel good about us winning this. So you got to have the mice bring the cats out here. They've gone through two devils. I still have all four of mine. So this both drawing means that it should favor me towards drawing a devil over them, but that doesn't mean it's not how it always works. Um, I don't know. Maybe they DC'd. I don't know. Okay, you added mass manipulation too. Okay. In Medavari, sorry, did you add mass manipulation to the main deck or sideboard? Don't draw cards when you're ahead. That makes sense. I'm also just ahead on mana, so I get to activate Castle easier. Okay, sideboard still, okay. Hmm. Sure, I guess. I can cast it. <laughs> Gives me a card I can cast right now. I don't really know what I'm why I'm casting it or what I'm doing with it. Wrinkle's gotta do something. Probably about, I'm guessing probably two weeks is when I'll be moving down there, Mike. Probably not like 
next week during the week, but probably the week after. That's my best guess. So everything looks like it's going going good with, with the house and it's almost all finished up. what I thought. Yeah, I can't. What's the weather like down there? It's like high 40s here. Can't wait to have nice warm weather. Even though it's still February, so. Can't be... It's probably not too great a weather. Hey, the sausage. Thank you. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> right, Brad? It's true. Minnesota, it's 20 degrees right now, and it's warm. Oh, I should have played this castle first. Whoops. My opponent's playing so slowly, I kind of forgot what was going on. Oh, well. See you, castle. Yeah, I was a. Um, uh, got really punished. Could have had that minute rebrim play. Yeah, I played. I played tennis in high school and college. Super foggy down there right now. 20 feet visibility. Ooh. That's not much. Dangerous driving. My opponents made this such a long match. They're playing so slow. So slow. What's up, Zerif? We're doing good. It's best of one day Monday.
<clears throat> yeah, this song is Bleachers, is the name of the band Bleachers, and then Don't Take the Money. So their Cauldron Familiar is now gone. I was one point one damage short of killing him. Right there. If I would have done the we both draw and lose a life, you know, they would have been at three. And then my Cauldron Familiar could have done two damage that last turn. But that should be game now. They can just gain one life and go to five. That's not going to keep them alive. All right, tapped out. Yay, I can see it. Finally. And we're five and one. One more match. Try to get another 6 1. Got a bones. Alright, I'm playing Temple of Malice and another Gutter Bones. They can wait on the scry. You know, like, like they could have waited on that. Maybe they don't know I'm a red black deck. Maybe they did. Who knows? Hey, what's up, rank one? Come for the game. Stay for the ties and pets. Uh, thanks, rank one. Being sub 21. Let's slow this down. Might be a bad idea. Um, it's probably better to get all this stuff in play than uh, just play a Midnight Reaper. Especially that witch's oven. We don't want that getting countered. No. My oven. Um, yeah, let's do this. I could just kind of sit back on the Cauldron Familiar forever, but let's do it. You know, so that's a couple points of damage with the attack right then. I kind of need another Banishing Light for this Reaper now. Hopefully they don't have it. Oh, man. 
Is it just getting to that point of the night where all of our opponents just take forever to do anything? That's what it seems like. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I think I just go Cauldron Familiar, Cauldron Familiar, Oven. And I can I can claim the firstborn, give my mayhem devil haste. Which is kind of my plan right now. I could have done like that was that was the plan I was I was debating on. Because I could have gone Mayhem Devil, play Fable Passage, sack it, and Delta damage there, and then also you know claim my own devil and give it haste. Hey, Donkey, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub there, Donkey Musket. That's a cool name. Really worried about instant speed removal. I'm not sure how they're going to win this one. Putting a lot of pressure on them. Last zone, that could be it. They can't let me on tap. They have to do it. They have to blow it up right now. I guess no, because that they're still dead. Then so you, seems like they're just dead. Yeah, 
Feedmaster with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Feedmaster. There we go. <clears throat> Six and one. Oh, wait. All right, so another good at league. And I expected this deck to do very well uh, whenever we started playing it. You know, our, our one loss was that was that uh, one with the with the mana trouble, right? Like where we just got stuck on two lands and that's it. I think. No. No, we lost we lost like the first one or the second one, something like that. We lost to the red deck where I would have been able to put them down to one. That's right, with the Ember Cleave thing. Um, yeah, this this is a this is a very strong deck. Um, it's still not really sold on the Revelers. The Akroan War, not. I don't know. We never you know never drew that either. Rankle looked awesome. Uh, Woe Strider didn't look that great, but you know it is just another sack outlet for the deck, which is nice. Um, and Priest was like okay, but not. Not super fantastic or anything like that either. Loved Wrinkle though. Kind of want some more Wrinkle. Maybe a Black Cavalier. Is there a creature able to replace Gutter Bones? Um. Somebody in chat probably has something, maybe, but. Uh, I know. Th I think there is like reassembling skeleton in standard. Um, the yeah, others is it reassembling skeleton? There's some kind of skeleton, but the I don't like. I don't really like the skeleton. Sanitarium skeleton, that thing. But I think that's just too slow. I don't know. It's kind of the same thing, I guess, but it's a one-two. Like the thing, the thing that makes Garbones good is a two-one. You know, like that's a, that's a huge difference attacking for two instead of attacking for one. Um, could just play like if I didn't have if we didn't have gutter bones, I would probably just be playing like uh, the name of this thing. I cannot think of names today at all. Dreadhorde Butcher. I'd probably just play like Dreadhorde Butcher, I guess. I, I'm i definitely interested in Croxa for the deck. At least like one Croxa. You know, like maybe not like a, a bunch, but like one Croxa over a Reveler or a Woe Strider. And then maybe like another Rankle instead of this Akron War. I don't know. But yep, there's a sideboard there too if you want to try it. Um, yeah, I like Croxa a lot. All right, so there's Rakdos Aristocrats. Definitely a really good deck here. Uh, we got one more deck to try out, though, on this um, best of one day Monday stream. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know you know the drill. Hit that like button over there, and, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what, you, what you're doing in best of one. If you're playing best of one, um, you know, send me those deck lists for next week. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Rakdos Aristocrats, and I'll see you for the next video.